a US team has achieved a breakthrough. A lot of people say that EV batteries can't be recycled properly, it's not very efficient, yada, yada, yada. None of that is actually true. However, the process to recycle lithium batteries can be, well, it can mean you don't recover as much lithium as what you'd hope for. But that is definitely changing. Researchers say in the United States, they've discovered a way to recover 99. Well, nearly 99.8% of lithium in existing EV batteries. So what this means is the well, lithium won't need to be mined in the future. We'll have enough. As soon as we mine enough, we'll have enough and we'll never actually need to mine it ever again. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. I actually think that we're going to have more lithium than we need within 10 years because, well, we now have sodium ion batteries and sodium is cheaper, it's more abundant, and sodium ion batteries have some big advantages. But when it comes to lithium batteries, we have a lot of them right now. And we might as well recycle them because that's um, a really good use. A group from the Worcester Polytechnic Institute or WPI in Massachusetts has improved battery performance and introduced a sustainable recycling method. Led by Professor Yan Wang, the team focused on improving solid state batteries. These batteries are considered a safer and more stable replacement for conventional lithium ion batteries. They developed an iron dope material, and this newly developed iron dope material simplifies the design of next generation solid state batteries. It addresses a big issue with solid state, the incompatibility between halide based solid state electrolytes and lithium metal anodes. This issue is generally solved by adding protective layers, but those layers increase the cost and complexity of the batteries and can sometimes lead to quick degradation. The researchers solve this by doping lithium indium chloride with iron. And this modification created a material that can make direct stable contact with lithium indium anodes, eliminating the need for a costly and complex protective interlayer. Interestingly, the new material maintains excellent ionic conductivity and it shows impressive long-term stability. And that's the main issue here. Long-term stability is the biggest challenge that solid state batteries have been facing now. Full battery cells using this material were able to complete more than 300 charge discharge cycles while still retaining 80% of their initial capacity. In addition, symmetric cells, which are used to study the stability of the electrolyte itself, operated for more than 500 hours without any battery degradation. Now, apparently, this is the first demonstration in the field which showcases this kind of long-term stability. At the same time, though, these researchers created a safe and scalable method for recycling highly reactive lithium metal anodes. Using a self-driven aldol condensation reaction with acetone, the research team was able to transform spent lithium anodes into valuable lithium carbonate which is used for lithium batteries, of course, to build new ones. The resulting material was extremely pure, reaching 99.79% purity, which exceeds the standards for materials used in new batteries. Now, meaning, in a way, this kind of confirms that myth you might have been hearing that uh, recycled lithium can sometimes be better than mined lithium. The research proved the real-world feasibility of their recycling process by using the recovered lithium carbonate to produce new cathodes for new batteries. These new cathodes were then tested and found to have electrochemical performance comparable to commercial ones. This testing showcased that the recycled material is of high quality and can be integrated back into the battery production process. And really, I think if you could share this video with people who say mining lithium is terrible and we're just gonna to have to mine forever. This is a this is a horrendous. Batteries are not recycled, they get thrown in the trash. This isn't actually accurate. 
The development provides a practical way to reduce this, well, the reliance we have on new lithium mining, which helps to lower production costs and speed up the adoption of cleaner energy technologies. Now, right at this point in time, we do recycle lithium EV batteries. So, you know, phone batteries, watch batteries, they're too small and often, you know, they're generally actually not recycled. But the lithium in an EV battery is worth thousands of dollars. So they are recycled. But here's the thing. We are continually finding out ways to recycle the lithium in EV batteries and make it cheaper, more efficient, and to get more lithium from that battery pack so that we basically don't waste any of that lithium. This method is an effective solution to one of the most pressing challenges in the battery industry, said Wang. By turning a safety liability into a driving force for recovery, we've created a process that is both practical for industry adoption and critical for building a more sustainable energy future. This will likely lead to more powerful, safer, and sustainable lithium batteries for electric cars, renewable energy, and even mobile phones, and basically anything that uses a lithium battery. So isn't it kind of cool how lithium batteries, we're not just seeing the evolution of lithium batteries, which is maybe sodium, but we're seeing the energy density improve. We're seeing sodium ion batteries uh, improve so that they can actually become real world devices that we use in EVs and we use in other devices. And we're seeing at the same time uh, different ways to just continue this kind of virtuous cycle of recycling and continuing to use the products that um, are used in renewable energy. And one of the big criticisms of renewable energy is, oh, it's all goes into landfill. Those big wind turbines go to landfill. Solar panels are just garbage and waste we're creating for the planet. We're wrecking the planet. But actually, it's not really accurate. And we're actually working out new ways to recycle nearly everything. It will eventually happen. They won't. Eventually, we won't have anything in the entire supply chain in the renewable energy industry that can't be and won't be recycled. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.